Hey guys, uh, so welcome to an episode of Wine Reviews. Uh, today we're doing uh, Queen Margaret uh, Blended Scotch Whiskey um, from Lidl. Um, um, you know, due, due to the current pan pandemic, uh, I was not able to get that much uh, booze recently, but I uh, stopped them while I could. Now I'm just going to show you... Uh, um, now, uh, for undisclosed reasons, I actually got rid of the, uh, the whiskey bottle. I just disposed of it and just poured the whiskey into some like water bottles for some undisclosed reason. But uh, we're gonna. But I I, I, t I took some pictures of the uh, of the bottle before I got rid of it in a dirty fucking public toilet or so. But um, if you have a look at here, it says uh, product of Scotland, Queen Margaret blended Scotch whiskey, distilled, blended and bottled in Scotland. It's uh, three years old. So it was aged for three years. Um, it is a, a one litre bottle. It's a, it's forty percent alcohol um, strength. And uh, the second uh, now, now here we can see um, the, the, the details of it. Um, it's uh, I've recorded the uh, the other audio earlier, so I didn't know if it was a uh, it was if it was a blend or. <coughs> Normal Scotch whiskey, but um, let's see, let's see, it says here okay, it's a Queen Margaret uh, blended Scotch whiskey. It's produced and bottled by S Cycland Scotch Whiskey Company, Gla Glasgow, you know, Glasgow, uh, GR253 Scotland. This bottle contains uh, 40 UK units, or one unit if you pour in a fucking glass. Basically, the the the, uh, the details of it, and, you know, there's pictures that I took to when I was in a dirty fucking public bathroom, wherever it is. But uh, yeah, um, yeah, the, the, those are just the details of it. Because I said I got rid of the bottle and I put it in, uh, you know, water bottles for, um, you know, reason I was saying, but obviously that the issue that I have, I have a actual product to review in this uh, quarantine time. So uh, yeah, so. Uh, on to the, uh, the review now. So yeah, guys, uh, this is the uh, Queen Margaret uh, blended Scotch, Scotch whiskey of, of, of Lidl. Uh, just going to do a shot of it and see, and then see what it's like with some mixer. Now I'm only filling this half full because um, I'm bad with shots in general, but whiskey is very uh not very i do not take it very well so i'm just going to prepare a uh a chaser as well so i've just got some cloudy lemonade right here and uh yeah i, I, I may gag on this but let's go bottoms up oh bloody hell that's fucking strong. As I said, I'm not really that good with shots. So. Yeah, it's, it's actually quite a, a smooth uh, whiskey, actually. I'm not the biggest whis whiskey drinker, so I don't really know that much about the difference between like blended whiskies and, uh, and and like the single malts and stuff. Like apparently the single malts and double malts and that's supposed to taste better and also the uh when they're aged for like um 10 for 10 15 years they um gives them like a like woodier to because i had uh recently something actually brought back from the uh, amsterdam uh trip i did uh, last year actually brought back some jim bean uh extra aged um whiskey uh and i think that was eight years aged i think it was aged for like eight years or so and uh it actually had a really nice taste actually when i mixed it with coke it was uh like like a sort of woody sort of like sort of like taste yeah that, 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 that was a really good that was a really good drink i, sh I should have really re reviewed that really but yeah i i i, I definitely do like the, the the flavor of this whiskey like um, I'm pretty sure it's blended whiskey, but it's uh, actually pretty, actually pretty all right. Uh, just gonna mix a bit of it with this uh, lemonade, and then finally I'll do it with. Uh, I don't have any cup, but I do have uh, Pepsi. I'm gonna mix a bit of that with it as well, and just see what those are like. Okay, it might not look like it, but I've actually poured it in here because you see it's gone down a bit. Let's see what it's like with uh, lemonade. Yeah, 
Yeah, that, 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 that's pretty damn good. I might just pour a bit more into it if it feels kind of weak. Oh yeah, we're uh, we're currently on, under um, not under full quarantine yet, but yeah, C Corona Chan is uh, so disrupted life quite a, a lot recently. Um, I, my I actually I mentioned before that I work, but my workplace is actually shut down now because of because of the because of the well, Corona Chan. You know, is angry with the world and everything, but uh, I, I was still, I was, I still will get paid for my uh, contracted hours. So I'm pretty, yes, yeah, so I'm pretty damn happy about that. But yeah, guys, we're pretty much under quarantine. I, I really hope it, you know, it doesn't affect my holiday. I'm going on holiday in August to Hungary, and uh, I don't know if it's affecting them right now, but I just hope my fucking holiday don't get cancelled because I will be pretty damn pissed off. I will want to drink more if my fucking holiday is cancelled because I, I saved up fucking loads of money for that shit. Yeah, the, the, yeah, the, that's, that's a very, very nice, uh, very nice drink. No, um, yeah, I am. I, um, I don't. I, I have a friend who drinks whiskey. Uh, uh, no, I, well, I've, I've clubbed with him several times in videos. Andy Wilson, ninety-two. He's uh, he's he likes his whiskeys. It's his main drink, really. But I uh, don't really have. I actually have a couple of bad experiences. Like a few years ago, I actually drank like a whole bottle of like whiskey in one sitting and ended up being passing out, and it sort of put me off it really. Uh, but, 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 but the thing is, I was a pretty, uh, pretty lightweight back then. This was about eight years ago, in like 2012 or so. Uh, I downed like an entire bottle of whiskey when I was a lot more of a lightweight, and I just fucking passed out. So I can actually probably hand handle them now. But uh, yeah, it's uh, pretty damn good. Just gonna down the rest of this and just try a bit with Pepsi and just give the final thoughts. <laughs> Oh yeah, new Issue Soccer reviewers just uh, started fucking airing as I'm recording this. Uh, I really want to fucking watch it, but I've got to finish this fucking video. Um, the video's probably got copy strike for that, that fucking second I, I did. Showed up the intro. But um, yeah, finally we're going to try some of this fucking little whiskey with Coke. Or actually Pepsi in this case. <coughs> There we go. Uh, I personally think that um, whiskey is best had with uh, with Coke or Pepsi or whatever cheap brand you like to drink. Oh, that's good. It's got to go together like bread and butter. Yeah, that that, that yeah that 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 is a a very nice uh, drink. You, it goes down pretty well. It's probably it's probably a good um, thing for the air. Um, I forgot. Yeah, I forgot to mention that um, a liter bottle of this from Lidl is uh, fifteen pound, um, which is quite quite cheap because uh, normally you pay twenty plus quid for a bottle got bottle of good whiskey. So it's the same thing like an Aldi and Lidl. Like they're they're. Their spirits are actually pretty cheap. You can get like a liter of vodka for like fourteen pound twenty, liter of whiskey for fifteen pound, liter of gin for around the same price. Uh, whereas uh, that um, Whitley Neal that I reviewed, I found was only uh, a fifth or one fifth of an American gallon, uh, seventy cent liters, and that was tw that's normally twenty six pound, but I only paid twenty one for twenty pound for that one. So I was only getting you know three, almost three quarters of a liter for more for about six pound more than what i paid for you can pay for a liter of of spirit from aldi or little so uh yeah so that, 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 that yeah and it, it, it's very very nice with coke it's actually a lot better than the lemonade i don't know why i did that earlier just an experiment but uh yeah that is my review of the um queen margaret uh, blended Scotch whiskey from Lidl. Yeah, it's fun being in quarantine right right, right now because you know Corona Chan is uh, she's been a bit devious, if you know what I mean. Uh, yeah, yeah, guys, that, that's this episode of uh, of wine reviews. I give uh, Queen Margaret uh, blended Scotch whiskey uh, eight, eight, eight out of ten. It's actually pretty good neat. Um, when I had the shot earlier, I usually gag on like shots, but uh, yeah, it, it, it did really well. And it's really really nice with cook. Uh, yeah, that's recommended. And since uh, 
the quarantine has given me a lot less responsibilities, adult responsibilities, but I want more time to make a lot more videos, obviously, also depending on how lazy or not lazy I am. Um, but yeah, there'll be some. I will have more time to uh, make to make more videos. Yeah, that's this episode of wine reviews. Um, good drink. You should drink it every day. Drink it as life juice, really. And uh, that's it. See you next time. Bye.